Hey everybody, welcome back! I'm back again today with another Lazy Girls Guide. And today we're going to talk about what we wear. A lot of the times, what we wear is the first thing people see about us, and it gives a really big impression about our personality and our sense of style. I have always been someone who does not like to wear sweatpants to school. It changed a little bit within the last couple years and I found a new appreciation for leggings, but especially where I'm going to college, I am not allowed to wear leggings at all unless I have like a dress over top of them. So here are some tips and tricks of being a lazy girl that have really helped me make sure that I look presentable. Without further ado, let's jump into my closet. Okay, so this is my closet, and it's a little hectic sometimes, it's a little crazy sometimes, and stuff doesn't always make sense of why it's in the place that it is. I try to keep my closet really organized so it makes the time in the morning shorter. Here are some ways that you can save a little bit of time in the morning if you do stuff the night before. Just like with our hair, if we do stuff the night before, it helps us get that last five minutes of sleep that we really want. One trick that I have found that I absolutely love, especially for mornings that I have to get up earlier than normal, if I have to be at school early, or if there's something else going on and I know that like it's picture day and you have to look great and you know that your hair and your face are not going to cooperate with you because it's picture day. Here's something that I love doing. I love to lay out my clothes the night before. Even if that means I lay out four or five different outfits complete with a necklace and a watch and the earrings that I want to wear, it helps give me a good sense of peace about I know what I'm going to wear, and it's going to be one of these four or five things. So, for example, I've pieced together this outfit. This shirt is from Target, it's a Marona, and the pants are just jeans from White House Black Market. And I have this necklace that I believe is from Kato, and a watch, I don't even know where it's from, maybe Target. This is an example of what I would wear every day to school. It's just a button-down denim shirt tucked into a darker pair of jeans. A simple necklace, a watch, and I'd probably just wear these diamond earrings with it. It's that easy. Lay out something, even if it's jeans and a t-shirt with a cardigan over top of it. Lay out your outfits, it saves you the time in the morning and you won't stand there in front of your closet for 15 minutes going, I have nothing to wear! Anyone who knows me knows that it is no question that I love dresses. I have always loved dressing up, and a spring dress can just make me feel that much girlier. One of my favorite lazy girl hacks, wear a dress or a skirt. It is just as easy as putting on a pair of pants, but it makes it look like you went that extra level to try a little bit more. Experimenting with new things to see if you like it or maybe you don't like it. That's completely okay. Just try something new. It could end up being your favorite thing. Some of my favorites are long, flowing maxi skirts. It's not the typical straight-legged maxi skirt, but I think it gives it a little bit more bohemian feel. This one is from Coldwater Creek and is kind of an army green color. It's a little difficult to pair things with other than just a white top, but I really like to wear it during the summer because it's very flowy and gives me a very boho feel. A way that you can almost never go wrong, in my opinion, is with a flowy spring dress. I love this one from Delia's. It is almost completely sheer, so obviously you have to wear a tank top and a slip underneath it, but this is my favorite dress for the summer months. It is so breezy and I never feel like I'm getting super hot because the air goes right through the fabric. I love this one especially because it gathers at the natural waist and makes you look a little bit slimmer and in more of an hourglass figure. Finding a skirt or a dress that fits you well is the number one thing to do when wearing dresses. Look at where it gathers around your bust and around your waist and around your hips. Then look at how long it is. If it's a reasonable knee length, is about the general 
rule of thumb for how long a skirt or dress should be, just so you don't have to question if it's going to be too short. Obviously, skirts and dresses aren't for everyone, but try to find your style. Just because skater skirts are in, or high-waisted skirts, or maxi skirts, or mini skirts, or whatever style of skirt you see on Pinterest most often, just because that's the style now, doesn't mean that's your style. The most important thing about fashion is finding your voice. What makes you comfortable? What makes you excited to go take on the day? For me, it's a skirt or a dress. It just gives me that feminine power that I can do it and I can take on whatever problem I'm gonna face for the day. But if for you, that's jean shorts, awesome. If it's skinny jeans, great. Just being confident in what you wear is the most important lazy girl hack. It's the most important life hack. Be confident in what you're wearing and know that no matter what, you can conquer the world today. Briefly, I just wanna talk about like accessorizing. I love to accessorize. I love necklaces and watches and earrings. I think that sometimes we overlook the accessories because we're so worried about Oh my gosh, I have to get out of the house, let me throw on the sweatpants and the baggy sweatshirt, let's just get out. But if you take a little bit of time, lay out your clothes the night before, or have in mind while you're brushing your teeth, huh, I could wear this. Put it together, go through an organized idea of your jewelry. If you try even changing your earrings once every couple days, change something, it might just give you that little bit of encouragement to change something bigger or to branch out or experiment with what you like in yourself as a fashion statement. You guys, my biggest lazy girl hack is just try it. If you wear something to church that's a little bit out of your comfort zone dress-wise, if you like it, what's to say that you can't wear that to school? Or if you're going out with some of your friends and you decide, I'm going to put on a necklace. What if you like it? Put on something that makes you feel beautiful and confident. And I know it will pay off. You guys, I love you and I want you to stay beautiful.